Hey everyone, my name is Safwan and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be talking about model driven apps. In particular, I will be talking about how to show and hide form sections and form head. So I've got a form where I've got a field called promoted by news channel. I'm just going to say this is the promoted field and what I want is if promoted field is false, then I want to hide this promoted section and this donations tab. If the field is true, then I want to show this tab and this section. So you can't generally do this with your um, business rules, uh, you need to use JavaScript for it. So before we jump into our code, let's go to our main form, which is this form here. Let's uh, go to the form editor and let's hide this section and this tab here because by default, this promoted field is false. So we want to make sure that when someone opens the form, this section and tab is hidden. So let's publish that and jump into our code. In our code, the first thing we have is our logical name of the promoted field. And then we have the function. So this is a function that's going to get called by the form itself. And it's going to pass in the execution context. In this code, we're not using the execution context or the form context. Um, however, we will be calling this function, which is wait for form to load. And this will basically keep looping until it finds the XRM object in the page. So once the XRM object is um, available by the code, it will attach an event listener to our promoted field. So the way we do that is we use the XRM object, get the promoted field, and we attach an on change event which is calling this show hide items function. And if we go into this function here, we will see that we are storing our logical names of the promoted section that we want to show and hide. We are showing name of the donations tab and the general tab. Now, where am I getting these names from? So if you go back into your form editor, and if you click on the general tab, you'll see that there's a name field here. And this is where you would put in whatever name you want. Likewise, if I go into my donations tab, if I click here, you will see that my tab has a name called tab underscore three. And the section that I have, which is a promoted section, this has the name of promoted underscore section. So this is where I'm getting the logical names from. Once this function gets called, when the promoted field changes, I'm going to get the value of the field, and this is how I'm getting it. So using the XML object, uh, get attribute, promoted, logical name, and then get the value. The value will always be true or false because the field itself is a Boolean field. And what I want to do then is if the value is false, I want to hide my tab and my section. So first I'll hide the tab. So I'm using the XML object, getting all the tabs there is on the page and I'm using the donations tab logical name to get the tab and then I'm setting the visibility property to true or false okay and the same thing we're doing here which is getting the tab uh, from the tab we're getting all the sections and from the section I'm saying get me my promoted section using the logical name and I'm setting the visibility to true or false now this logic here works where you can just passing the actual value of the promoted field because if the field is false we want our tabs to be hidden or sections to be hidden and this will work like that however if you want to use an opposite logic where if your field is false you want to show the tab all you need to do is put an exclamation mark and this is going to negate the condition so once that's done we want to upload our code into the form and the way we do that is by convention, you should be using a solution. So you go into your solution, you go into your web resources, and you click on new, more web resources, and you put in this one here. Now, I won't be doing this because I already have that added. So this is my code here. Once you've added this, go into your main form and go into your JavaScript and you add your library here. So check in the name, the display name of the code that you uploaded, add that in, and then you want to add an event to this form. So you want to click outside of the form so that you can see this purple border around the entire form. And then you want to go into events. This means that this event is going to run for this form, not for a section or anything like that. So you want to go to onload, add an event handler, and uh, put, in, put in the name of the function you want the form to call, and just pass in the execution context, click done, and publish. So while this is happening, let's go back to our form. This is the main form. You can see that it's not changing anything. You want to open the inspector because you want to hard reload this uh, page, and hopefully that will pull in all the new code for the form. I also have a console log. So whenever I'm changing the value, I should see a console log here appear as well. So that's good. I can't see the sections. I can't see the tab by default. So that's a promising sign. 
and let me change the value and voila. So I can see that there is a field change and I can see that the promoted section is shown and also the donation tab shown. Now if I switch this to false, you'll see that tab is hidden and the section is hidden. That was it for this video. Hopefully it helped. Um, give a thumbs up if it did. And if you have any questions, reach out. Thank you.